Hi folks, it's Max from DroidBionicRoot.com and DroidRaiserRoot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM, also back up your ROM uh, using SafeStrap 3.0. And also, um, this will actually work on any um, Droid, uh, Droid Bionic, Droid Razor, Droid Razor Max, and Droid 4. Not the new Droid Razor M or those, but uh, so Droid Bionic, Droid Razor, or Droid 4. If you have any of those phones, you should be all good to go. Um, go ahead and root your phone. If you don't know how to root your phone, go ahead and root it. Follow my latest instructions at uh, droidbionicroot.com. That one also works for all Droid Razor, Droid 4, and Droid uh, Bionic. Um, and uh, make sure you're on ICS. Um, you know, as f you can be on a custom ROM also, but make sure you're on ICS. Um, you've updated your phone has been on ICS before. Like you know, when you got your phone, it's on ICS, or maybe you've upgrade it um, you have to at least have uh, ICS on your phone and uh, if you have ICS go ahead and download the two files um, safe scrap version 3 and also um, the ROM you're gonna install uh, if you're not gonna install ROM you, you don't have to but um, go ahead and download those two and then um, let's go ahead and install the safe strap if you download it wherever you download it um, internal or SSD card I put it in my SD card so I'm gonna go here and actually put it in my download folder, and uh, that's the safe strap 3.0.5, so version three, or it could be uh, it could be higher by the time you see this video. Go ahead and install the latest one. Download and install the latest one, and also make sure unknown source is checked on, um, otherwise you won't be able to install it. So go ahead and install safe strap, and you just have to install this once. All right. And you can also use this app to uninstall it uh, if you ever want to uninstall it. So install recovery, uninstall. If you need to uninstall it for maybe OTA upgrades, you can come back, install this app, and uninstall recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. This will install the safe strap recovery, uh, which is makes your phone safe for installing custom ROMs. And uh, you'll probably get a pop-up. No. It said installation complete. Um, alright, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, let me show you that I've copied, downloaded um, my ROM file, which is, the, I'm gonna install the Razer, oops, I'm gonna install actually the uh, Droid, you know what, let me go ahead and copy it, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, latest Eclipse for my Droid Bionic, um, so go ahead and download the appropriate ROM file, it's a zip file, you can download it straight to your phone or you can download it to your computer and copy it over. If you download it straight to your phone, it's going to be under your download directory, usually either in your SD card or internal storage. It doesn't matter. Uh, once you have the ROM file copied over, next we're going to go ahead and turn off our phone. A uh, reboot, actually. So go ahead and uh, power off and uh, turn on your phone. All right. And uh, you'll have to hit the menu button when that safe strap menu comes up. Um, be ready to hit that menu button. There we go. There we go. Hit that menu button when you see that screen. Uh, with the new safe strap 3. Point, uh, version 3.0 and higher, you you'll have a bunch of option um, stuff. Uh, no no longer safe uh, safe mode is used. Um, it's a little bit different. So if you want to install a new ROM. Uh, First, go ahead and uh, go to the ROM options here, boot options, sorry, and then uh, choose a slot, all right? So I'm going to choose ROM slot 1, and uh, this will create a partition uh, in your internal storage, so you can make, um, make put a ROM there. So I'm going to choose, you can choose uh, 1 gig, 2 gig, 3 gigs, um, if you need more data size, you can go 3 gigs. I'm going to create uh, 2 gigs and create ROM slot. And this way, you can have a bunch of different ROMs, and uh, you can switch back and forth easily between stock ROM and your custom ROMs. Um, to switch, you just have to reboot into Safe Strive Recovery, and then uh, choose the different uh, boot option there. But uh, I'll be back. Um, I'll, I'll show you all that, and I'll be back when this is done because it's going to take a couple minutes. Hi, folks. Um, so I've have a new ROM slot. Basically, now I can install that ROM I was going to install. Um, and you can always switch to the stock ROM if you ever need to go back. So go ahead and do a wipe, factory resets. All right, go back, 
uh, go home and uh, you can now install your ROM. You don't have to back up your stock ROM since it's already there uh, with the new SafeStrap 3.0. Go to install and uh, go find external SD or internal SD wherever you put your ROM file. I put it in my external so I'm going to choose my external. It's in my download folder. I'm going to install the latest Eclipse ICS version that I wanted to try. Um, swipe to flash and this will install your new ROM. And uh, you can use the multiple slots to uh, install multiple ROMs if you want at the same time. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. And uh, this will install the new ROM onto the ROM slot one. So you can do this for all of your slots and uh, pretty much uh, kind of a multi-boot, well, yeah, multi-boot for your Droid Bionic, which is really cool. Now you can have a bunch of ROMs. Of course, it's going to take up a lot of space of your internal. Um, so that's one drawback but other than that um, now you can um, you know pretty much install multiple ROMs and run it and also you can use a backup feature will pop which will you can back it up to your ex external SD card um, that way it won't take up so much space and uh, you can do it that way too so I'll be back when this is done installing alright there we go so it's done um, so if I go to boot up boot options now, I have a uh, ROM installed on my slot one, and uh, let me go ahead and reboot, and I should have a new the new ROM booting, and uh, also I'll show you how to go back to the stock ROM easily. Um, there we go, and I'll be back when this completely boots up. Hi folks, so it is done, and I've got uh, Eclipse booted here, and also my 4G working just fine. Um, there we go. Uh, so I've got new ROM installed. Now let's say if I want to go back to another ROM, um, I can I can just simply reboot. Oh, let's skip all this. Let me go ahead and uh, reboot. All right, power menu. I'm gonna reboot, and uh, let's go back into safe um, safe drive recovery. And uh, let's say if if you want to go back to the stock ROM, or you want to switch ROMs you can do it easily um, so it's a really a dual boot or, mul or multi boot uh, system now this is awesome so you can do this on Droid 4, Droid Bionic or um, Droid, uh, go ahead and hit menu there uh, or for Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max also same file for all of those uh, compatible but please do not try on some other phones uh, let's let's go to dual boot options here and uh, you can also delete it if you want to, uh, but you also have to set it. So I'm going to go to stock ROM and activate it. And this will now boot my stock ROM. And also you can go here, if you need to delete, you need more space, you can delete it here. And uh, you know, once you have it active, uh, whatever you put on will be the stock ROM. But I leave you, you leave stock ROM alone. And if you want to install another ROM, go ahead and uh, you can act you know add more slots if you want to keep that ROM or if you want to write over it um, you can activate it and then you know do a wipe or you don't have to do a wipe and then uh, install a new ROM like that so it's kind of a selection of the ROM so let's go ahead and activate the stock ROM back and let's see if it reboots reboots it into my stock ROM which is going to be really cool and also you can skip the uh, safe trap by hitting the search button it, it will not wait so here we go so this is great it's pretty much a dual boot or multi boot hit search uh, for your droid bionic droid razor and droid 4 and I'll be back when this uh, boots completely and you see my stock uh, stock ROM boot animation there I'll be back hi folks so I'm on stock ROM here and then uh, let's say I want to go back I can do the same thing and choose the uh, the other ROM. Anyway, this new Safe Strat version three should allow you to get a bunch of different ROMs. Also, very easy to use uh, from the previous version. And make sure you're already on ICS or higher before you're using this, as it's not compatible with um, Gingerbread. And uh, I think that's it. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And uh, if you have a Droid Bionic, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, droidbionicroot.com. Or if you have a Droid Razor, don't forget to sign up for my email list at droidrazor.com.
root.com. I'm going to actually switch back to the ROM I installed because I'm going to go try it out to review it in a little bit. And uh, um, yeah, sign up for the email list. We update you with ROM of the Week, tip sacks, and more stuff like this. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, thanks, you guys. Stay high on Android and enjoy the new safe safe strap here. And I'm, I don't know, I've, I'm kind of uh, liking the Motorola stuff, you know, more now. Um, since they're going to start, you know, not having, you know, having unlocked bootloaders from the get-go. Well, we'll see, but I don't know. I'm not going to buy any more Motorola devices. I just have way too many phones. But there we go. There's my Eclipse ROM. Uh, pretty much a dual-booting, you know, machine now. Pretty cool. See y'all later. Stay high on Android. Oh.